Welcome back. We're going to play some 10 minute games on Shogi Wars, or at least attempt to. I think my internet connection is stable again. It might not be. Um, but, I don't know, I've done some tests. It's holding up a lot better than it used to. Good luck. Alright, so generally I play third file or central horror. Um, let's see. Let's close this bishop diagonal. And I'm a little confused as to what I want to do here. Um, I think I do want to take this center square anyway. So this is perhaps a unique system. Uh, during the week I played a game against, um, oh, who was our opponent? I apologize. There was a strong Wondon player uh, on 81 Dojo I had played a game against um, in the middle of this week. Um, I'll remember his name soon enough, I hope. Oh, right, I don't need to oppose that. But in that game, I played silver to 5-3, and that led to problems. So this time I'm going to play my silver uh, to a safer location. Um, I'm not expecting a bishop exchange. Let's take this territory for my king. And also, if their king moves from this location... That would seem to be the timing for me to try this tactic. Because they push the center pawn, which is perhaps a bit unsafe. Um, by perhaps, I mean certainly. And by a bit, I mean goodness, this is extremely dangerous for them. And I'm surprised that we're going this way. Uh, but it is what it is. Let me check my audio. Audio looks good. Well, we got him thinking. We did something right. I kept my gold back here on 4-1 to protect against potential pick drops. Alright, thank you for the game. Uh, let's play another game, sure. Why not? Oh, reconnecting. Well, that's... Again, hopefully my connection's stable now. Good luck. Alright, we play Gota this time. Uh, let's take the center file, just for funsies. Yeah. Um... I think it was something Sayata, uh, a newer live streamer from Japan uh, who speaks both Japanese and some English. Oh no. Uh, there's a communication issue. And I don't know if it's on my end or on their end, but I wager it is on my end. That's not great. Let me see if I've got Steam or something open I can close. Welcome. Oh, it is my turn. Alright. Let's play the Rook to the Center file. Um, hang on. Take the Center. Although... Yeah, this is fine. This is fine. I've not ruined everything just yet. Oh, this is dangerous. This is amazing, but let me defend some things first before I get too excited. Uh, their rook is doing nothing at the moment. It is blocked by all of their pieces. Um, not sure what the game plan is. But, yep, it should be fun. All right. They found a way to develop their bishop. 
All right, so now they're starting to activate the Rook. Uh, however, let's go on a magical journey. Let's go on a magical journey. Which looks entirely safe and not ridiculously speculative. And by that, I mean quite the opposite of what I just said. Um, so if I take this pawn, I'm in some weird side pawn picker Joseki that I don't know, and they get to promote their bishop here. I'm not such a fan. So let's just drop back. And it's fine. And everything's A-OK. -okay. Um... I admit some can oh, a tremendous amount of confusion here. Um, so they have blocked their bishops, so I'll just continue castling as if everything's normal. They don't have a target to strike at just yet. All right, they're making room for something, or they're trying to break open my castle. I'm not sure which. I'm not sure it matters which. Uh, if I push this pawn, they'll attack it. I'll defend it. That's fine. This is how we normally put pressure against a king. So let's do it. Then play Kimura Mino. Bring the silver up toward supporting this pawn. So yeah hope everybody's had a chance to consider playing or trying the teaching ladder. It's a good learning experience for everyone. Um, so I stopped their rook from advancing. My rook is still decently active here. Um, there's complications here that we're not getting into. Um... Interesting. Well, I should defend my bishop. And they'll try to strike at the head of my bishop, and that's to be expected. Um, I could push this pawn, which would be super unwise, but I could do it. I'll just fortify my king, take some more space. Nanafun. Got seven minutes left. Um, yeah, they're gonna hit this point unless I defend it somehow. Um, <laughs> so I was thinking to push this. I would push this pawn to try to defend that point, but the more I look at that, it looks risky. But it's not as if I have some other plan here. Um. So we'll attempt to defend this position. <laughs> they slightly ease my task, maybe? I'm not sure. This position is super weird. Um... Hmm. I think my position's fine. I think this is okay. I could be very, very mistaken, and we'll find out in just a second. <laughs> okay. I somewhat anticipated this, but didn't think much about it. Um... I thought this would be a perfect hard counter to this move. Um, am I walking into a fork and just not seeing it? Oh, okay. Fair enough. Okay, this does block my bishop and does allow them to promote. Ah. <sighs> 
Shogi is complicated, in case it's not obvious. Um, all right, well, they say don't run from a fork, and I think, although it's not exactly the same, the same principle applies here. So we're just going to try to run with the position instead of running away from it. Um, let's see if something positive happens here, if I show some aggression. This seems, the more I look at it, this aggression seems very misguided. Um, yeah. I'm making multiple mistakes here. That's okay. The suffering won't hurt for too long because I won't feel it once I get crushed. Um, so, oh wait, no, I could actually fix my mess. It's kind of complicated, but the rook defends the silver, the silver attacks the bishop. Meanwhile, this promoted silver is also attacked. Uh, okay, they attack my rook, which is defending my silver. Um, hmm. I don't need a rook right now. I'm just going to go for their king. Okay. So, I've created a mess and a half for myself. Um, I guess we take the silver and not the other one. I want to use my knight. don't want to give up a gold. There's too many things hanging here. So if I'm going to use my knight, I'm offering either this silver or this gold. Alright, they take the silver, so I can take this silver. And pretend it's an even exchange, even though it's not. Um, and then attempt to defend this somehow. Um... It's not totally clear how I can defend this. Fine, I guess this is the most defending-ish move that I can play here. Um, it's not great. So finally I get this pawn break in, which I've been trying to play for a number of moves now. My time is almost dipped to three minutes, so I'm playing a bit hastily, probably making a lot of mistakes. But yeah, we have something of a castle that's perhaps not super easy to smash. Let's just take that. The idea is if they take back with the silver, we can drop another pawn and force the silver to move. Instead, they attack my castle, so uh, I return the favor. Um, hmm. Let's just attack directly. No sense in being subtle about it. I don't have a way to intensify my attack. Um, I guess we'll attack this way. And the idea is that if they strike this, then I can approach with both silvers. Okay, that... I didn't anticipate, because that's just a free pawn. Um, let's hmm. Not sure how to combat that. Uh, 
I guess a pawn for a pawn, eh? And if they take, I'll just drop another pawn. I've got enough pawns to keep doing this for a while. Um... Then I take this to approach faster. Okay, that's clever. Um... Hmm... I guess this is the fastest way I can approach. I'm not convinced it's the safest way, but if I want to use all my pieces in the attack, this seems to fit the bill of using all the pieces in the attack. Uh, maybe I wanted to do pawn takes instead there. Well, we got the pawn to take back in the end, so that's fine. Okay, wow. That's a declaration. That's a declaration of some sort. Let's attack. I'm afraid of getting checkmated at this point, so... I'm going to try to set up a king rook fork. They avoid the king rook fork. Um... Oh, right. No, the other point is I want to drop a pawn back here. A bottom pawn. I forgot to do that. Um... Hmm. Yeah, no, I messed up, so let's go back uh, and drop this here. Okay. I guess they're correct that that does accelerate their attack. Um, well, this is unfortunate. I need at least one gold in hand to have some sort of a mate threat, but... Um, oh. Didn't expect that. Um... Hmm... Yeah, I'm in severe time pressure. But also my position is lost. Uh, well, we'll pretend to make a threat. That might work, right? Uh, it's not good. Oh, they have mate. Yeah, there we go. Nicely done. Good game. Alright, that's two games down. One to go. Sure. Let's play once more. So, yeah, the thing about this website is perhaps it's a bit addicting. Um, between all the colors, good luck. Between all the colors and animations, uh, it's really entertaining. Uh, perhaps to the point of being addicting. Uh, the notion that uh, games are played without time, or even a mechanism for analysis uh, between games is unfortunate. Uh, okay, fine. There's third file rook. Let's get the king out of here. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, that's aggressive, man. Okay. 
We are playing something today. Uh, it's a game that's kind of like Shogi, but I don't know. Here, let's just castle this way. Um, I don't know. Ah, uh, I guess we'll take this. We'll build Kimramino via really weird move order. Um, okay, I forgot to defend the head of my bishop again. That's cool. Um, so I have to exchange. And once they take, I have to be prepared to cry a bit. Um, well, no, I can slow that, no. Good gravy. This is a mess. Okay, we're gonna expose my rook and try to use my bishop in a really odd manner here. Oh! Thank you. Yes. Thank you, sir. Can I please have another? Alright. Um... Sure. This seems perfectly safe. And not a disaster waiting to happen. Um... I've got so many loose pieces here. But, I did get a silver. So even if I lose something, it's not the end of the universe. Um, but, also, it seems I might manage to activate my pieces in a reasonable way, and there's lots of holes in this corner of the board. Um, hmm. Interesting. Um, I'm very confused. Here, let's just use my bishop. This looks like a good day to use a bishop. They're not even trying to promote their rook. Okay, so my bishop promotes and can come back and attack very quickly. Uh, yes, they do attack my rook. So let's put the rook... Uh, I don't know, should I care about the rook? Probably. Um, this looks like a decent... Pl oh, this is not a safe place for my rook at all. What am I talking about? I was so excited about the possibility of attacking that I forgot they have a knight. Um, it's not losing the game though, so... Yeah, I guess we'll try to find a safer square to run to. Understand we're going to be attacked again and then we have a square to retreat to. But yeah, I helped them promote or advance their knight. Um, on the other hand, there's this nice little hole right in front of the king. And it seems a bit difficult for them to fill that hole. Oh, wow. That is generous, sir. Um. I can almost trap that bishop, but not quite. Ah, uh, where do I put this? There's so many ideas that almost work here. I guess we'll just take this pawn. No sense making things more complicated than they already are. They exchange here. Incredible. Yes, a rook in general is an excellent piece, but have you looked at this position? Um... 
this rook, yeah, it's active. There's a lot of stuff going on in this position. I don't know that I would have played this exactly this way. All right. So, sure, let's advance our knight. Since they ask so kindly. I think they forgot that I had this horse. I think that's what happened here. Um, okay, we'll take this way, so that if the king takes, we can fork their pieces. And if the king does not take, uh, we can continue attacking. So let's attack the rook. Okay, the rook moves. Let's attack the gold. They have a knight in hand, which is not really super well equipped to deal with this attack. Uh, let's again attack this gold. Okay. Um... I'll take a gold general. Let's use one of our bishops. And just surround this king. All right, your turn. Yeah. Promise I'm not toying with them. I'm just bad at checkmating. Um, but here I think it's... I survived despite my errors. So I defend my gold general. ideas I can exchange and then drop the gold here again. And so for them to defend against this kind of thing, they'd have to have a gold or some general in hand to defend this gold. They don't have a gold general in hand. So yeah, they're just going to attack. Um, but unfortunately, with this attack, they don't have another piece in hand to defend. So that's how that works out. I saw this um, uh, checkmating idea. In chess, we call these things a mating net when it's like an unavoidable mate, but not a mate in one. Um, thanks for the game. Uh, in Shogi, there's puzzles where, despite having a mating net available, you're supposed to look for an actual forced sequence of moves that checkmates where every move's check. Um, I just didn't see one there, so I promise I wasn't toying with them. I was trying my best. So today, two wins, one loss. We're gradually working our way up toward Wandan. How many years will it take to get to Wandan? I don't know. Eventually we'll find out. The more we learn, the more we practice, the better we get. Hope we enjoyed this.